What's up, guys? Welcome back to the channel. Mmm, tricky. Nice. I found some portions. This is going to last you for a week, depending on what else you're eating for breakfast. The world's coming to an end. Ooh. I've always wanted to do this, so I'm going to film us walking through Costco and show you exactly what we buy. And I'm with Hannah, my beautiful wife. As you know, she's into fitness too. A little lower calorie, but still high protein, so we eat a lot of similar things. So we'll just show you what we pick up on an average Costco trip and walk you through it. No. Hannah's always getting fresh fruit, whether it be strawberries or blueberries or raspberries or something. She eats a lot of that, so we always end up picking up some fruit here. That's how I curb my sugar cravings. We always get some sort of salad mix. Usually you put like chicken in it or something. Uh, chicken, and then we also add a can of mandarin oranges to go with it. So these are just oven browned turkey breasts. Tons and tons of meat on these guys. This will take us like a week or two to get through. And really, really quick, easy protein. Really good bang for your buck, they're about $3.99 a pound, so four pounds of turkey is about $17. I also want to point out, I know a lot of you guys don't necessarily have Costco memberships, this is where we shop, but if you are at like, you know, any other grocery store, you're gonna get items similar to this, probably at a little bit different of a price point. I've talked about these rotisserie chickens before, you know, almost every deli has them. Again, super, super easy protein. If you're cutting these up into four or five ounce portions, this is gonna last you for a week, depending on what else you're eating for breakfast and whatnot. But usually, actually, I'll pick up two of these guys. They're five bucks a piece. Five bucks a piece here at Costco. You just can't beat it. Always look for the oldest pull date. It'll last longer. Yeah, a lot of these items in this section go bad really, really fast. So, you know, I always get this quinoa salad. This is nope. a super, super easy carb to add in. But yeah, a lot of these guys, they're, they go bad in like two days, so. We're always watching the pull dates on those. Those are bad to you. You don't get that kind of stuff. Don't show anyone that. I want egg whites. I'm always grabbing egg whites. Sometimes I'll just drink these, which Hannah just loves. Um, but if I'm not drinking them, I will put them into, I'll just mix them in with my eggs in the morning. It's a nice way to not go through a bajillion eggs. Often I'm eating like six eggs in the morning, which is just an insane amount of eggs. So it's nice to be able to mix just the pure protein in there without the, the fat of the yolk. So I'll mix those in with the scrambles in the morning sometimes. Depends on how many eggs I have, really. Our, boba, it's everywhere. Our latest obsession has been boba. Boba is everywhere. Do you want to try that? Not it's really. a little scary. <laughs> Hannah eats these fruit and nut packs. Reasonable macros, nice little snack. I snack a lot and I'm in the hospital 12 hours a day, so it's a really easy snack to get on all my breaks. Atlantic boneless, skinless salmon fillets. These are frozen. These things are the absolute truth. If you're like, on the chicken game or the turkey game and you're getting tired of it, just substitute fish. A lot of people will do like tilapia or tuna, which are fine, although tuna contains a lot of mercury if you may or may not know. But if you can do salmon, if you can find salmon for a reasonable price, it's such a good alternative. I love these guys because I can actually just microwave them and they have been a big staple of my diet recently. I pick these guys up sometimes. Super caloric, nice protein. It's a nice option they always have around. And they're frozen, so they last. Another good staple, these are fully cooked Angus patties, and you literally throw them in the microwave for a minute and a half. 24 grams 24 per grams patty. of protein in a patty. 280 And like she said, you can just microwave them, so super nice. Quaker Oats, the big boys. I'm not grabbing this today because we have a lot on deck already at the house. Remember, oats are a nice, slow-release carbohydrate and a very nice alternative on breakfast. I've showed you the peanut butter oatmeal that I make with like 500 calories in it. If you want to know more about that, I did a video on my full day of eating that you can check out. I will link it up there. I always have a bunch of oats on deck. Similarly, the big boy of Jif peanut butter. I picked those guys up here and that's what I'm throwing into that bowl. Oil. Coconut oil. I do like throwing pasta in as a carbohydrate, an alternative to rice because the macros are pretty similar and the rice can be boring. So, and uh, noodles actually to me are really easy to prep. So I sometimes pick up noodles, which I did today. Yeah. yeah. Hype is real. Quick release carbohydrates, lots of sugar, but. Great pre-workout. Great pre-workout and they're on sale, so. These are a really nice little snack. Super good, quick, easy protein too. And they actually, uh, they have less calories and more protein than the turkey bacon strips do. Take your fish oil. Oh, it's good for acid reflux too. Nice. Double whammy. Oh. What? My friend's dog. Oh no, we don't need to look at him. Look at him, he's snuggling a Gatorade bottle. 
<laughs> oh my god. It's not for me, it's for Michael. <laughs> uh, sure. All right, so there you have it. Should give you a pretty good breakdown. Um, there's some things that we skipped today that we would get on other trips, but this is just most of the uh, the bulk protein and stuff that I eat on a, on a weekly basis. I'll go to you know a smaller store outside of Costco to pick up some other random things, but this is 90% of what we eat. And yes, I got a piece of pizza. I'm a horrible person. But, yeah, it's okay.